first and goal now. The ball is inside the 10 at about the 9. Just underway first quarter here on Friday Night Football. McManus now out of this spread offense in shotgun. Here's Ryan now to the right side. This is Thomas Lang. Thomas Lang will take it into the end zone. And Clarkstown South strikes first. For the past 12 years, football has played a major role in the life of Clarkstown South senior Thomas Lang. There have been several key athletes that have contributed great things to the Clarkstown South athletic program. One athlete who has been as large a part as any is senior Thomas Lent. For his impact on the football field, Thomas has been chosen to be our Viking of the fall sports season. I'm fortunate to play next to him. I'm really fortunate to play next to a kid like Thomas. Relentless. You know, he's just uh, he's just a player for us um, that whatever position we put him at, you know, he's going to fight to the very end. He's going to do his very best. He's relentless in practice. He's relentless on the field. So if you've ever observed him playing, I mean, he could do it all. Kickoff return, quarterback, halfback, outside linebacker. I mean, we haven't tried him at punting the ball, but he can punt and kick off the ball. So, you know, he's just a relentless football player. Thomas is a good player. He's really athletic. You know, he's a multi-sport player. You know, he's lacrosse and football. You know, he's just an athletic kid, and he has the heart to do whatever he wants. And he, pro he proved that on the field this year. Basically, I've been playing since I was seven. Just means everything to me. Football is my whole life, and I can't see myself without it. Like in double sessions when it's like 110 degrees out, and you just want water, and the coach won't give it to you, and yeah, you want to pass out and just lay on the floor. Being a Viking, it's probably one of the best feelings, like walking around the school knowing that you're one of the football players, and like Friday nights, you, you're like the highlight of the school. Uh, I've known Thomas for probably eight years now. We went to uh, the same elementary school and we played football since fifth grade. We're best friends. I mean, we've known each other for the longest time. We've gone on vacations before, and you know, we've, we've done everything together. You know, it's just been great from a coaching standpoint to see them mature and get better uh, and play together. Thomas was also a member of the New City Rams junior peewee team that won the New York State title in 2004. Give the, the New City Rams impacted me because by the time I got up to high school, I knew the game like perfectly or very well, and just I was a step ahead of the game. I would say definitely join the program. It teaches the kids like teamwork when they're young and how to like work together with people, and also to show them like how to keep a commitment. Throughout his 12-year career, Thomas has always had one person alongside him: his number one fan and mother. Joanne Lent. In a way, Thomas was very lucky during the New City Rams period. You know, um, he, he's a good athlete, you know, and I can say that as a parent, but the group of kids that he has come through, the five years with the New City Rams and the four years with high school, there's about seven or eight of them that are still together. So it's become like a family to him. A great group of parents, always there to contribute whenever asked or needed. And I think these are friends that he'll have for the rest of his life. I think the Pop Warner, I mean, is just a huge asset. Any kind of rec football or any kind of lower level football, especially New City Rams. I mean, they've been, the, they've been a long standing uh, Pop Warner system um, that people look upon, you know, uh, as being highly su successful. Now, half the kids go to North and half go to South and some go to Albertus and some go to Nyack, you know, but that's, you know, you know that, that's, that's been accepted. Um, so those kids coming up, and those coaches down here have gotten these kids ready uh, as far as just basic stuff as tackling, as lining up properly, as commitment, as discipline has kind of helped us. I mean, that's probably the hardest level to coach. High school, college, pro, that's really an easy level. It's, it's when you got the little kids running around and they're so unfocused sometimes to get them set. So, you know, we admire those coaches down there. We admire that, that system of football, and we appreciate those kids coming up and playing for us here at South. Uh, well, I remember our junior midget year, our uh, state championship game. Thomas didn't get the ball that much because he was kind of our fullback or whatever, but they did give him the ball one play and he managed to break a 75-yard touchdown. So that just proves to you what he can do. I was a cheer coach, a treasurer, and a commissioner of cheerleading for the New City Rams for about 10 years over the whole span. And then when Thomas first got into high school, they were looking for a president for the, actually the vice president for the Vikings Touchdown Club. So I took that and two years later I became the president. Well, you know what it is? The, the Touchdown Club is 
is a booster club run by parents, you know, parents of the players. And any time you get uh, a person like Joanne Lent who goes above and beyond uh, just the extra things, uh, just kind of, you know, the expectations are very high now, you know, once you have someone like Joanne Lent, which is great because you want parents to get involved because it really just comes back, it's, it's, it's for the kids. And she has just set the bar up so high uh, that I think it's attainable and I think we can, we can stay at that level uh, so for us as coaches, for us as, as a program, we're excited to have had someone like Joanne Lent, uh, someone that's going to be around to help us out. Uh, it's just, it just adds more to um, the program based on the experience, giving the kids a great experience of playing football, but also having that experience off the field. We just know that we have someone that, that has our back. Oh, gosh, we do so many things. Like with the New City Rams, we do bowl game weekends away, awards breakfast, fundraising, um, just, you know, sponsoring the kids, having barbecues and tailgates. You know, and that goes right into football, as you know. You know, pregame dinners, um, adopt a platoon day, raise some money, some awareness in the community, um, varsity camp, overnights, you know, whatever a parent can do to help the program and to make it a better experience for you guys. <laughs> We have talked about that, like going to the same college and how it would be crazy, but it's going to be hard, you know what I mean? He's going to get into a more athletic school, and I have better grades than him, so it's just going to be hard. I think Thomas, you know, uh, as far as playing at the next level, I think, you know, it comes down to two things. With any player, um, it's just your heart and your hustle. If you have heart, you know, that you want to play at that next level, and you have hustle, meaning you're going to get yourself ready in the weight room, you're going to get yourself ready mentally to want to play at that level, you could play, and I think Thomas has that. Um, you know, I, as far as where Thomas wants to play, I think he could play at Division Three. I think he could play at Division One AA. I think he can even play at the Division One level if he got gets accepted into a school like that. Maybe not a, a BCS scholarship kind of guy right now, but I think he has the makings, you know, of, of playing at any level he chooses, as long as he has those two things. It's going to be. It's going to be a lot different. It really hit me yesterday at the section dinner, though. I'm not going to be able to play with any of the, like, you know, the guys I've been playing with for seven years now. It's one of those sports that when you get older and you're not in the pros, you can never play it again. They don't have like men's leagues or anything. And high school is like the last time you get your chance. From winning state titles as a new city ram to receiving high honors as a Viking at Clarkstown South, Thomas Lent has accomplished many things throughout his 12-year career. For the Viking senior, hopefully more is to come.